Diesel Geddon, America's diesel supply on verge of catastrophic collapse, leading to halting of food, fertilizer, coal, and energy. Before I continue with this lesson, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. I'm the brother lawyer, and I teach with the Great Millstone Nashville camp. Come back with a quick lesson. And this lesson will be entitled Diesel Getting. Babylon is hanging on <laughs> by a string. Which you know that Babylon, or, or Great Babylon, Mystery Babylon, you know, the daughter of Babylon is America. America is hanging on by a string. All right? And so, this was in the news. This was sent by the brother uh, Malachi, all right, in the chat. And as you see, uh, there won't be no more 18 wheelers uh, bringing you food. Bringing you food, fertilizer, coal. Uh, that's it, coal. I mean, I was thinking about corn. <laughs> Coal, corn, you know, it was just food. Uh, energy and energy. You know, like I says right here. And it's prophesied that's going to happen. And, and to be honest with you, uh, the earth is, is plentiful. The earth, the when, when, Yahweh, when Yahweh, whose name, uh, you know, Yahweh is a true name of the Heavenly Father. Which means he exists, he to be, all right? Baha Shem means in the name, right? And his only begotten son name is Yahweh Shah, who the world ign ignorantly calls uh, uh, Jesus. When they made the earth, right? When they made the, the you know, the, the food and everything, it's plentiful. It's plentiful. Uh, uh, it was plentiful back then and, and it's plentiful now. But it's, it's, it's it, I try to be nice, all right? It's this certain man that's ruling right now that's bringing forth all this death destruction. All right, let's go into it. So I'm going to start at 2nd Ezra. And really, I can, uh, I'll go down. <sighs> ah, <here. clears throat> I started. Second Ezra six and seven, because a certain man is ruling right now. It says that uh Salaki, damn, it left my mind. It says that uh when the wicked bear the rule, the people mourn. So the wicked, you know what? I'll pull it up. I'll pull it up. Salaki. Uh let's see. Let me get another tab real quick. All right, so let me pause it real quick. All right, so lock you. So this is the book of Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear the rule, the people mourn. So with this coming, all right, the, it, this will cause great mourning. And that's in the book of Matthew as well, which I'm going to pause this again because I don't want to you know, uh, waste a lot of time. Want to hit the points, you know, and, and be done with it. All right. So just bear with me. All right. So this is Matthew 24. And and remember, you know, uh, this, this will, this is what will cause you how to come back as well, you know, cause all these different prophecies are popping off and he's going to have to come back because it also says that no flesh will be saved, which I'm going to get that is in Matthew 34, I believe, uh, Matthew 34, I believe. So anyway, Matthew 24 and starting at verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming? And uh end of the end of the world. And of the end of the world. You know what you know what what else lines up with that? Let's go to second Ezra six. And Salakia, uh, seven. 
It says, then answer I and said, what shall be the parting asunder of the times? Or when shall be the end of the first? And the beginning of it that followeth. And he, uh, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, representing that Jacob would, would take down Esau. Jacob is so-called black, Latino, Spanish, Native Americans, and Esau are so-called white people. But don't be carnal. I have to say this, don't be carnal because, you know, this is a spiritual thing. And Esau, uh, uh, not Esau, well, I ain't going to say that, but Jacob was, was scattered into all nations, even into the Edomite nation. So guess what? You're going to have the seed of Israel looking like Edomites, all right? But they're not. Jacob hand held, uh, hand held uh, damn, I keep saying that. Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So when you go right here to Matthew 24, the disciples also ask, tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and the end of the end of the world. So this end of the world is really the end of E's world. Right? And it says, What shall be the sign of thy coming? So we just read that Jacob and Esau, uh, uh, Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. So Jacob being the beginning of it that follow it, that's Yahweh Shah coming to establish his kingdom, the kingdom of the Jakes, the, the kingdom of the Israelites. All right? Starting with the elect. And Yahweh, uh, and Yahweh Shah answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And that's happening. All right? It's going to ramp up. And ye, or you, shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So the end is not yet. All right? Even even when this takes place. Damn, where did it go? Salakia. <laughs> All right, so even when this takes place, when you don't see no more trucks bringing food in, you know, when the shelves are becoming uh, empty, it's not the end yet. It's not the end yet. The MOTB, right, the chip has to be implemented. The economy has to, you know, go haywire. And, you know, something has to be presented as a solution. Order reaction, what is it, order uh, reaction solution? Or, or order out of, uh, you know, no, that's not it. Not order reaction. So I think it's uh, it's damn Salaki. I think I got it mixed up. But you know, order out of chaos. All right, you bring the order through the chaos. All right, and we know what that is. All right, and it's that thing that they're gonna put in your hand and your hands on your forehead, your butt cheek, whatever you wherever you want it. You know, which is that chip. Anyway, I'm staying on track. It says, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, which we're in the midst of that. World War III is being talked about as we speak, now more so than ever. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Why is it the beginning of sorrows? Well, hell, Proverbs 29, where is it at? Proverbs 29, it, it told you why. Damn, did I take it off? Salakia. Let me, let me go back. All right, Proverbs 29 and 2. When the righteous are in authority, <laughs> the people uh, rejoice. But when the wicked bear the rule, the people mourn. So this beginning of sorrows. Why? Because the righteous are not in authority. The, the wicked are. All right. Anyway, let's stick on. Let's stick to the topic. Uh, Damn, lost my train of thought. Salakia. Let me go to uh, Malachi. All right, because we, we have to get this. The burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi. I have loved you, said the, said the Lord. Yet ye say, wherein hast thou loved us? That's what you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans say. Nigga, how the Lord love us? All this hell we catching. You know, we were slaves. Well, it's because our iniquities. You know? Wherein hast thou loved us? Was not Esau Jacob's brother? Said the Lord. So the Lord's sitting here thinking about Esau, you know, when, when Jake said this. Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage and his heritage waste for the dragons of the wilderness. 
So that's what's getting ready to happen. You know, when 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 Babylon the Great is taken down, you know, whereas Edom said we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places which they have done, and that's why you have the the, uh, the Renaissance era. Thus said the Lord of hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down. We're in the midst of them being thrown down. Esau is the end of the world, right? And they shall call them the border of wickedness and the people against whom the Lord have indignation forever. All right. Anyway, uh, let me go back to second Ezra six. We're going to skip around a little bit. Uh, let me see. So, yeah, because we're, we're mainly getting into, you know, the lack of food, you know, but man shall not live by bread alone, right? The elect are, are not going to just worry about eating food. The, the real food is his word, all right? That's why it says in Isaiah 33 that wisdom and knowledge shall what be the stability of that time, that this wisdom, knowledge is going to keep you stable, you know, uh, damn, Salaki. So Let me go to, uh, yeah, Second Ezra 6 and 22. And suddenly shall the sown places be, uh, not be, appear unsown. The full storehouses, your stores, shall suddenly be found uh, uh, empty. So suddenly, one day you're going to have food, the next day it's going to be gone, you know. <laughs> Y'all was <sorry. laughs> All right. Um, anyway, so like <laughs> it says, and, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man heareth, they shall be afraid. You know, uh, back in the ancient world, you have different alarms, different sounds of a trumpet. You have, dun, 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 dun. you know what I'm saying? Like a king is coming. Then you have that, dun, 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 dun. like something's getting ready to happen, like alert, you know? And then even today, you know, uh, you have your different alarms dealing with the tornadoes or, or fire, you know, or, you know, shoot. So, and we're, we're blowing that trumpet. You know what? Let me get that. This is Isaiah 58. Verse 1, cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yet they seek me, uh, Salakia, let me see, the power to ask me, Salakia. And yeah, I just get that, you know. And so, hey, and that's what we doing. We lifting up our voices like a trumpet, warning our people, you know, on, only the elect is going to take heed anyway, you know. It says, and, and, and the trumpet shall give a sound, which when every man hear it, they shall they shall be suddenly afraid. And to be honest with you, uh, you know, this alarm that's that's being sounded, you know, to be honest with you, people be afraid <laughs> when we out there teaching the scriptures. You know, when we lifting up our voice like a trumpet, letting them know what's coming, you know. But anyway, let's keep reading. It says, at that time, shall friends fight one against another like enemies and the earth shall stand in fear with those things i mean uh damn and the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein and the springs of the fountains shall stand still that represents water and in three hours they shall not run so you're not gonna have we're not gonna have no running water the lord's gonna have to do all that you know but to the wicked to the ones that receive benefits, that haven't known him, that haven't put their trust in him, especially our people, you're not going to have that delight. You know? Uh, it says, Whosoever remaineth from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation in the end of your world, in the end of Esau's world, and the world of you two-thirds, because y'all want to stay here. You know? Anyway, and basically, that goes into the elect, the ones that's not going to take that MOTB. Let's keep going. That was 1441 when I hit that little uh, button up here. Anyway, um, yeah, let's, let's read this. I was thinking about this yesterday, too. Verse 26, and the man 
that are received shall see it. What? The salvation and, and the destruction of our enemies who have not tasted death from their birth. So that's another cut saying where everybody goes to the box or everybody will die. That's a cut. It says who have not tasted death from their birth. So you're going to have men that's actually going to live and not taste death ever since they were born. And the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned in, into uh and turned into another meaning, right? Basically, you're gonna be we're gonna be immortals, you know, and, and we're gonna worship Yahweh while Yahweh shy. And we're always gonna be humble, you know, and and, and, and worship him, serve him, you know. <clears throat> it says, For evil shall be put out, and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome in the truth, which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. And that's what's happening too. This truth, who, who's uh, the one, the people that's the real Hebrew Israelites is coming out. Esau's histories and, li and, and lies are coming out, you know. Shoot. And, and, and faith is going to flourish. You know, it's going to benefit you, the elect. The one, the one third of men, women, and children, to believe in Yahweh, why Yahweh shall, especially, well, I, ain't, well, I mean, I ain't gonna say like they don't matter now, but especially in the times of when you're not able to hop in your car and go to the store, uh, uh, go jog, you know what I'm saying? Go and get water, food, you know. And so, I do pray that this was an edifying lesson, giving our praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Makakwadash, Shalom.